be soca, be soca, be soca. On campus, the art is wonderful. I've been traditionally trained, trained as a painter pretty much all my life since the age of five, but I started getting into street art and uh, graffiti style artwork in the late 80s, early 90s. I've been working on and off in Miami since 1986. Sometimes I sit around the benches and look at the art and see what what that artist was trying to say or express himself or teach somebody something. Well, I've done two murals so far. Um, one was embellishing on rhythm, uh, embellishing on uh, vibrations. Uh, and it's based on, the, on a theory that uh, sound nurtures. I recently just had a baby, and so I've been reading a lot of how sound affects them. This is the second one, which is my ode to uh, Harry Belafonte. He represented the Caribbean with such integrity uh, and, and such intellect. When you hear his music, what you hear is mainly just soul and, and, and happiness. But when you watch what his contributions have been, um, not just to civil rights, but just you know humanity in its entirety, uh, you can see that this was, this was a man that really you know, had a lot of love and, and, and he knew how to wield it. I like the fact that people can become involved with my, with my work. I tend to look at Dorothy Gillespie as someone who creates their own paradise, their own world, and you can participate in that. Art is a reflection of our lives. Every art I see, every piece I see on campus, like, speaks to me. 